unhealthy veggies, spoiled food and bugs. These are just some of the violations inspectors noted for this week's lowest scoring restaurant. Six on your site anchor Bo Williams in for Don Dare tonight with this week's Food for Thought. According to the Knox County Health Department, there are 11 health inspectors who monitor just over 2100 food service establishments in our area. So with that said, here are their top and lowest scores of the week. We're going to start on the low side. King Tut's Grill, 4132 Martin Mill Pike in Knoxville scores a 78. Now we do want to point out this is a passing grade as the health department determines a grade below 70 as unsatisfactory. All right, so here is what the inspector found. We're talking some moldy lettuce in the reach in cooler. Also, the dish machine took six cycles to sanitize, should take no more than three per regulations. The inspector also noted multiple batches of falafels were not date marked. Also, an insect presence was observed as well as spoiled food, in this case some eggs that were stored with foods in good condition, plus a wet wiping cloth was spotted by the drink station. Now the inspector notes a follow-up inspection will occur in the next 10 to 15 days. We'll keep you up to date there. All right, here are now the top scores of the week. We've got four scoring in triple digits. Hot Rods 50s Diner, 373 Hannum Street in Alcoa is perfect, as is the Gypsy Kitchen in the 5000 block of Brown Gap Road in Knoxville. Not to be outdone, the great walk and roll, 1169 Oak Turnpike in Oak Ridge and the Texas Roadhouse Bar 180 Collier Drive in Sevierville scores a perfect 100. Getting the oh so close award, how about the subway and the 2400 block of Boyd's Creek Highway in Sevierville scores a 99. How about the Quest Hotel and Water Park Kitchen 317 North Cedar Bluff Road in Knoxville also netting a 99. In Powell, El Rey Azteca 3515 West Emory receives a 98 as does New Full House. Also in Powell, it's located at 3507 West Emory. Also, how about some kudos to the crew at Baskin Robbins, 1420 Parkway in Sevierville. Inspector gives them a 98. Same can be said at the Poor House Bistro in Crossville, located at 1269 West Avenue, Suite 102. And Sylvia's Mexican Restaurant near the UT campus, 2421 University Commons Way in Knoxville, scores a 97. Same can be said for Applebee's Bar on Collier Drive in Sevierville. Again, congrats going out to all of these eateries and their managers and staff. And we should stress this is just some of the great score that restaurants in our area have been receiving this week. So check them out. I'm Bo Williams with Food for Thought. All righty, thank you, Bo. And if you'd like to look over all of this week's health inspection scores for yourself, we've made it easy for you to do that. They're under the As Seen On section of WATE.com, so check it out.